We're about 12 hours away from the total solar eclipse. That's when the moon blocks out the sun and the skies will go dark for a few moments. At last, the last time there was a total solar eclipse was in 1979. And now we'll only see a partial eclipse here in Hawaii, but still people are anxiously awaiting this latest astronomical event. Elisa Revelo tells us what you need to know. Elisa? Kathy, the Bishop Museum says a total solar eclipse won't happen again for several years, so it's worth trying to take a look tomorrow morning. However, doctors say you need to be careful if you plan to watch. We're told the eclipse will begin for people on Oahu around 6.15 Monday morning and end about an hour later. If you're on an island that's further east, the eclipse will start a little sooner, but no matter which island you're on, the event might be hard to see. We have a pretty unstable air mass that's moving over the island, so that's going to result in a lot of showery weather along with cloud cover. Still, the next total eclipse won't happen again until 2024, so many are scrambling to catch a glimpse. But Dr. Brandon Lee tells me you should only do so if you have the special eclipse glasses. The Bishop Museum says they're completely out. Looking at a solar eclipse with the naked eye, even for a few seconds, can cause temporary or even permanent damage to a specialized structure of the eye called the macula. This is the part of the eye that's responsible for reading, discerning faces, recognizing people and things. I'm told the effects of looking at the sun won't blind you, but the damage could be serious. Symptoms can start after a few hours. You might notice um, a, a dark spot or a blind spot in the central part of your vision, uh, distortion of objects, uh, or just general blurriness of your vision. In case you're wondering, it's not safe to use regular sunglasses to view this eclipse, but you're not out of luck. All you need is a cereal box and some other items you can find around your house. It's called a solar pinhole viewer. Here's a look at the final product. If you plan on going outside, the National Weather Service says people on neighboring islands might have the best view. Probably the best location, if you have that available to you, is going to be on Maui and the Big Island to go to, up to the top of the summits because that's going to give you your best opportunity for clear viewing conditions. Dr. Lee says it's still not safe to look at the eclipse with binoculars or even through your phone. If you aren't able to get your hands on a pair of eclipse glasses, we'll post a link on how to make a solar pinhole viewer on our website at khon2.com. Elisa Arevalo, KHON2 News. Thank you, Elisa. We'll also have coverage on Wake Up Today tomorrow morning. And to see what those on the mainland are seeing, we'll have on our website a live stream from NASA of the total eclipse. Find that stream at khon2.com from 6.15 in the morning through 9.50 a.m.